Uh, in the studio, it's Robin Trey as uh, Rob Ikes, Trey Hensley. You got a new album out called Living in a Song. What's up, boys? How's it going, fellas? Good to see you. Hey, how y'all doing? I well, love when y'all come in here. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm so guilty of it. When Patrick told me y'all were coming, I was like, really? Really? <laughs> oh, so, so First of all, we don't get a lot of Dobro. I mean, no, we really don't. We don't. You know, nope, and, um, nobody gets a lot of dough, bro. Yeah, and that, and so we try to fix that when any chance we get. So what is the what is the history of the dough, bro? Well, like, how did he? Yeah, how much time you got? No, <laughs> no give uh, us the, started yeah. in Hawaii, man, in the 1880s. And it is a great story where this, you know, the first guy was sitting in his class, sitting in his desk in class, dropped his comb on his guitar. His guitar was in his lap, and it slid across the string. <laughs> And he went, hey, that's cool, and started playing with a knife, and that's why we all play a guitar flat with a slide in our left hand. Wow. Uh, so, And also, the uh, didn't the steel guitar come out of uh, Hawaii, Hawaii as well? well? Yeah. This, so this, the dobro evolved into the steel guitar and the lap steel before the pedal steel. The lap steel was the first electric guitar. And I have one of them from wow. 1932. Really? What? But it was a Rickenbacker. And, uh, yeah, that was the first electric guitar was a lap steel. They were trying to make these guitars louder for these Hawaiian musicians. Isn't I mean, it wow. funny how that, uh, you know, everyday, nowadays everyone's like, well, you got to have a dobro. you got to have a steel guitar. Yeah. It's not country. <laughs> and they're like, that didn't come from country at all. Oh, in 1937, they were like, that's not country. Exactly. That's not kind of crazy. Why? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Hank Williams was a trailblazer, you mm -hmm. know, and Roy Acuff, because they had these slide Hawaiian instruments. But Hawaiian music was like rock and roll back then. It was worldwide, and people were just infatuated with Hawaiian music. And so it blended, you know, with country. And it still does, though. Yeah. That's the interesting thing is because I listen to a lot of Polynesian reggae and stuff like that, yeah. and I know people are like, what? I do. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> what did you call that? You were going to uh, hear yeah, Polynesian that, you know, reggae today, <laughs> did you? You never know. <laughs> but, you know, it's cool because they, they do a lot of country covers, even current stuff and all that, and they do throw in bluegrass, and they do kind of touch on a lot of different things. So it's interesting because they influenced us, we influenced them, yeah. and it makes everybody better by sharing yeah. now see that you have yeah. the uh, the finger uh picks yes uh, is and, and, and so is there a that, that's like a banjo right you have a banjo that they would use that too exactly yeah. and so is there a correlation between the dobro and the banjo um are the, they related the, the tuning is very similar they're both tuned to an open g chord and that was the first hawaiian tuning was open g so the same tuning that i'm using today was the first Hawaiian tuning. Wow, okay, that's really cool. Have you been to Hawaii? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, just make a sure. <laughs> Trey, we'll we'll get to you in a moment. I know you're the <laughs> best guitar player in the world and all that, but you know Rob is like a 15 time IBMA Bluegrass or uh, Dobro Player of the Year. So I've could you that. just could you just like give us a little just oh, show oh, off uh, lick? Like, like what's your show off lick? Something like, are you really any good at this? Well, you know it's, it's Hawaiian, but I love the blues. You okay. know. You squeezed the dobro. Why did you do that? Did that actually do something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So You're I'm, bending yeah, the pitch I'm by breaking, squeezing the whole thing. I'm bending the neck. Yes. It's yeah. probably not good for the guitar. But, wow. But it sounds cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Rob and Trey in the studio. We'll come back and play some. Uh, the album is called Living in a Song. It's available now. You get ready. You about to get your, your, your hair what? slicked back. It's coming up. Hang on. <laughs> Rob and Trey, uh, Rob Ike, Trey Hensley, join us in the studio. Uh, the uh, literally living legends uh, in the bluegrass country music uh, world, and we're just uh, honored to have you guys in the studio. The new album is out. It's called "Living in a Song," and uh, we talked a lot of dobro, but uh, we got some guitar here as well. Trey, I mean, we got you. We can't forget about you as well. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you have like a little uh, a yeah, show off lick? Show off, show -off, off lick? Oh, do you man, have a show off <laughs> lick? <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have know. asked. This is gonna get this is gonna get hot right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like 
fourth <laughs> album together, right? But what? try to remember, Rob, what was it like the first time you saw him? He was like a kid, right? Yeah, uh, I was playing with Earl Scruggs, and Earl was a big fan of Trey's and had invited him to sit in with us. And he did Jimmy Brown, the Newsboy, which has a very iconic Earl Scruggs guitar part. And he played it note for note like Earl. And we were all blown away, and he sang it great. Um, and then when he moved to Nashville a few years ago, that's when I really got my mind blown, you know, because he's just turned into such a great singer and such a great player. Uh, we would love to hear uh, something. You know, do you do something from the album? You want to do? What do y'all sure. want to do? We're up. This is y'all show. Yeah, we'll do one. Uh, one from the record that we wrote with a friend of ours, Tom Utes, called uh, "Moonshine Run." All right, here you go. About a half a mile down that river road Just across the bridge where the preacher don't go There's a field of corn, six feet tall Put it in a jar for the first snowfall Well, that river bridge cuts the town in two Between the common day centers and the chosen few The moonlight's pale on the first cold night I make my way over to the other side Don't let them catch you All in shine if you know what's best or Sunday morning find you in jail with your name on a prayer request Keep your foot hard on the pedal and your hand close to the gun Hear me roaring down the valley on a moonshine run Well the Lord knows all even what you hide but the devil's gonna give you one hell of a ride the Methodist way makes the Baptist shiver, but you're gonna see them both down at the river. Don't let them catch you, by and shine if you know what's best. Or Sunday morning find you in jail with your name on a prayer request. Keep your foot hard on the pedal and your hand close to the gun. And the long fine, but all it keeps shotguns, bodies, rusty Chevrolets. They're all at the bottom, and there they'll stay. Don't let them catch you all in shine if you know what's best. Or Sunday morning, find you in jail with your name on a prayer request. Keep your foot hard on the pedal and your hand close to the gun. Insane. I saw a kid on TikTok do the same. <laughs> it was him. It was Trey. Yeah, it was he's the kid on TikTok. <laughs> you know the great thing. About, uh, by the way, jeez, oh, my gosh, you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, but I, when, you know what I loved about that? Two things uh, is I love uh, the the prayer request line is great, and I also love the fact that when you do the you're singing it and you're playing it on the dobro, you're matching it like your your instrument is mouthing and singing the words that's weird <laughs> it's also really hard and really cool. that's so weird i think cool. the only other person i know that does that well like that would be steve warner oh, it's oh, like yeah, that that yeah, whole yeah. little scatting while playing and just matching it like that is so it's beautiful i love that this guy <laughs> right here can do anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> y'all can do anything all right y'all play another song yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to break it. We'll come back. Uh, Rob and Trey, you can find him at robintrey.com. It's T R E Y. Rob and Trey, uh, Rob Ike, Trey Hensley. The album is called Living in a Song. It's available now. Do yourself a favor, get it, uh, s support them, follow them. Uh, you're supporting uh, not only, listen, it's not only bluegrass music and country music. It To me, it's, it's American music. You're supporting American, this kind of stuff. Man, like we don't get a lot of you guys. Like this doesn't happen a whole lot for us, yeah. and a lot of people have. They are not exposed to it, uh, depending on where how you raise or whatever. It's uh, and it's. I hate. To, I don't want to say it's a dying thing, but it, it needs to get pushed up more. I think it needs you know, to get blowed up. Say it. Needs to get blowed up. Needs to get blowed up. All right, Rob and Trey, we'll come right back with the guys coming up next. 
Hey, Rob and Trey in the studio with us. It's Rob Ikes, Trey Hensley, uh, the legendary guys, and the album is, is out. It's called Living in a Song. Uh, we've been totally enjoyed. Hopefully, you're geeking out just like we are, uh, hearing all this, hearing all this stuff. That- Moonshine Run is the one they just played a couple minutes ago. Yes. I got a text saying, "What was that?" It is Moonshine Run, yeah. and yes, it's available everywhere. And for those uh, wondering, uh, yes, all they do all it's all auto tune. Everything is auto tune. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. We're using a computer, yeah. and yeah, there's, there's a, a drum s- machine. There's a there's a 13 year old in Taiwan who is making this all up. <laughs> so they just lip sync it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, Trey, we talk about you being such a, a young, a young man, and you know, you 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 started out doing country music and, and guitar. And is there a song that's like uh, that to you for both of you guys? It's like, yeah, this is this is our our go to happy song. Is there a, is there one? <laughs> I'd say the song we're going to play next is is one that uh it kind of fits that category fits that category yeah what is this one uh it's a doc watson song so yeah i mean doc obviously is one of the greatest guitar players ever and this past weekend would have been his 100th birthday Mm -hmm. so uh yeah i mean he he the way he played guitar just always sounded happy to me you know and you know he kind of inspired all the other guitar players and um so yeah this uh this one is kind of Kind of a go-to. All right, well, let's do it. All right. Uh, from the album Living in a Song, uh, Rob Ike, Stray Hensley. Here we go. All right. Boom. making all of I that know. racket. <laughs> like, that was pretty good, but can y'all do something hot? Like, <laughs> uh, you know, I was, just, I was on your website. Uh, by the way, their website, robintray.com, uh, and there's a quote from uh, from Haggard, who's who was a big fan of y'all, and uh, that's a, I mean, that's a huge, when you have somebody like Merle Haggard, who's like, hey, 
I love these guys. I love these. They're, what they're doing is that's a huge endorsement, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was our so favorite. Cool, man. man. Yeah. So great. Uh, all right. So, uh, Rob and Trey, you can go find them, get all the information on the tour. They're touring, supporting the album uh, called Living in a Song. And uh, what if you like what you heard today, you're going to love the album. And also go back and get some of the other stuff as well. I think this is what's your fourth album? Fourth, it is, yeah. Fourth, fourth, album. fourth album. So there's uh, lots of uh, other materials that you guys can go uh, enjoy from Rob and Trey as well. Dude, it's good to see you guys again. Hey, thank thanks, you. y'all rock. You yeah, know right, you're always guys. welcome, right? Always. always. Thank y'all very much. See you tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Rob and Trey, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> Wow, we have videos, oh, yeah, lots of them, yeah, more yeah. than just the one you watched. We got more and more and more and more. Yeah, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell, or we'll tell your mom. <laughs>